Hey, welcome to Immediate Dentures and Fabricating a More Accurate Surgical Stent. I'm Tom Zaleski, owner of Matrix Dental Laboratory and Consulting. We're going to talk a little bit today about creating surgical stents. Uh, in the past, surgical stents, in my mind, have always been kind of worthless because they were fabricated on a model rather than fabricated off a model that was made from the final immediate denture. Today I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, how it uh, provides better accuracy for the clinician to be able to evaluate what needs to be adjusted for an immediate denture delivery. You can get a hold of me at Matrix Dental Lab at Comcast.net if you have any questions. You can always find me on Facebook as well. A few of the products that you'll need for this are going to be a laboratory putty generally shore hardness 85 I find the Zermac Platinum 85 works best for me a Proform .100 surgical tray material vacuum form material some industrial scissors to trim or a stiff Robinson brush for removal I use that to trim on the model so it doesn't mar the model um, some carbides um, and burrs these are the Z burrs I like them because I can use them at slow speeds and they trim the vacuum form material quite nicely considering that vacuum form material is thermal formed which is done with heat friction is heat we want to use something slow speed that cuts and doesn't melt the products and final finishing and contouring with mini scotch bright wheels a uh, coarse medium and fine and you can also pumice and polish this material if you want to try to get a high gloss off the borders but these are the products I basically would recommend for the procedure as you can see here, this is a little illustration of a case I did. Immediate denture, then a putty model which is made off of the finished denture, and then the stents it, stent itself. This technique, because I'm using the actual denture to form the stent, provides much better accuracy. It's a mimic of exactly all the border lengths and contours on the inside. I like that much better than trying to take it off a model and then later hope that, uh, that I can trim the borders back enough so that um, it replicates what the final denture looks like. A lot of people don't believe that or aren't willing to believe that um, border length has a lot to do with the stents as well but it really does because um, invisibly a length on border could hold uh, the actual stent from sitting flush on the ridge and cause a miss evaluation of the actual fit. It can be quite flustering for a dentist who's just extracted some teeth and is trying to get that immediate to sit. So this provides a much better way to do it. So it closely replicates the actual denture fit by using a putty impression and the actual denture to define the border lengths in the intaglio. You'll also notice I've got some holes here. Let me talk about that for just a second. First, here's what it would be, here's what it would look like if um, I took the putty and put it inside the denture once I've removed it, I'll trim it back because I'm going to use these borders because I have to vacuum form over this model and I, I need to make sure the borders replicate all the way down into the sulcus. Basically, I'm, I hand pack it in there. I have the nice border roll all the way around. And I also put a hole in the center. And the reason I put a hole in the center, of course, is because I want the vacuum forming material to adapt as best, as best possible to the model, this model uh, in particular. So I'll put a little hole in there, then I'll place that on my platform and I'll pull vacuum, I'll heat and vacuum pull the stent material over the top of this model and I'll trim it from there. There it is. And you'll notice I also keep a hole in the center. And the reason I keep a hole in the center of my stent is because when this stent is being placed in the mouth after extraction, there's going to be a lot of blood, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, swelling or a bit of swelling at this point and I want to make sure that I have first off a way for any kind of uh, pneumatic pressure that might be inside of here to escape so that this can seat fully uh, in the mouth uh, and the hole itself also provides a visual indicator that it's seated all the way because mid palatally if the tissues across this hole then the doctor knows that everything else is seated. So again to review mid palatal hole on the model and then one 
to uh, to accommodate the actual stent itself when it's vacuum formed. This provides better vacuum on the model. And then the mid palatal hole on the stent provides an escape for air so it doesn't get hung up and provides a visual indication for the doctor that the stent is fully seated. Again, because this replicates exactly what the denture border lengths are and fit is at or contour is at that time inside, it makes for a much better evaluation tool for your dentist. And promote that idea. Say, doctor, I know that you may have not had a stent quite like the one I make. Um, I find that a lot of people, a lot of dentists who I make recommendations to with stents don't want to use them and I'll never understand why but I have a feeling it's because they don't up until this point without this type of technique I don't believe they fully represented what was going on and because of that uh, they had spotty results and just decided not to use it but I think once out of while I know that once they use something like this where they have a visual indication that it's seated and they've trimmed everything so it'll do so um, they find that it's a much better tool to use hey that was a quick one today a little thumbs up to all you who showed up to take a look see what's going on if you need to get a hold of me there's my phone number and my email address also you could go to my little website it uh, has some nice educational uh, tips and techniques in the tips and techniques area so anyways just want to say hey thanks again for stopping by and please show up again because I'm gonna have some other cool stuff here to help you out okay have a great day and thanks again